Okay, what we're going to talk about now is how to apply pigments to get a good, dirty effect on your models. Key thing that you need for here, I use MIG, so you're going to need to have MIG Pigment Fixer. This is what's going to hold the pigment to the model so it doesn't rub off. And then various colors. I have here their dry mud and Europe dust. I like these a lot. Also, um, their smoke works out good. Um, pull the label off by accident. Um, I use this on the gun barrels, exhaust ports, and whatnot. It works out pretty good. So, I'm going to go ahead and show you how to go ahead and get this taken care of. So, hold on. Okay. Using a fixer, the pigment's going to show up a little bit lighter, so you need to use a little bit more of the pigment, which isn't a problem because it still turns out really good. So, we're going to use dried mud and European dust. We're going to be putting the dried mud on first and up a little bit higher. Then we'll put the road dust or European dust down on the bottom and then a little bit thicker. Dried mud is what's going to be up closer to the model. It's older, so it's going to be the background layer. So you just kind of apply your fixer liberally. Get a little bit up here. Need some on those front tracks. Up here on the wash plate, a little bit onto the deck. Back in that area. Side of that mud guard track again. And then in there. Keep your pigment brush separate from the brushes you're going to use to apply the pigments because you want those to be relatively dry. So we're going to do the road dust or the dried mud first. Tap off a little bit and just start working it in. Kind of looks a little bit muddy if you get it into a, a puddle of uh, fixture, which is fine. Remember, we want uh, dry mud up higher. Can I see how it's starting to take shape? I always have a trash tray up underneath you to kind of catch it. You can see anything, can also use it as a mixing board. I want to add stuff a little bit later. Okay. So now, I'm going to take my screen dust and I use a different brush. Gives a good different shade to it. But you're going to say, but someday, wouldn't the other one be good and dry? No, well, it could be. But we're going to put another coat of fixer on top of it to kind of give like a little shell over it. And that's kind of what the fixer does too. And these are good muddy tracks. Just seeing some action. Go ahead and stop right here for a minute. Go ahead and rack up, do the rest of them. I do everything in batches, so I'll do all my vehicles, get the pigment on them, then I'll do all the vehicles again, putting the fixer back on top of them to seal it in. And I'll show that step in just a second. Now we're back, and after it let it dry a little bit, you can kind of start seeing how that pigment is settling in there. 
And one word of warning as you do this, you are going to get some on your hands. Be careful you don't go touching anything in your house and take your hands cleaned off. It does make a mess. That's why the drip tray at the bottom, that's just stuff that came off as I was doing it. This is probably like three, maybe four platoons worth of tanks. and got a little bit here on my table, but just got to be real careful on that. So I finished up all the, you know, seven tanks, platoon and then a command element, put all the pigment on the tracks. Now what I do is you take the fixer again, okay, and I'm just gonna load it up. And you, what I do is I just kind of like dab it in there. Just let it, you know, you're not smushing it around. You're just kind of dropping it on. And what this does, if you have any clumps, I find that it lets those clumps stay as clumps, which makes it look pretty good. A little bit more realistic. You always get those. If anybody's ever been around track vehicles or Caterpillar or construction equipment or whatnot, you always get these big, huge dirt wads thrown up in the tracks, right? And doing it this way kind of helps save that. Nice and dirty. Now, another thing you can do is MIG also sells thinner. And what the thinner can be used for is if you want to show like rain effects. You can like just let it dribble down the side and what that'll do is it'll kind of pull the pigment down and just kind of let it dribble on down. Really good over, um, you put this weathering down first and then you put a little bit of that thinner down or even alcohol will work and it'll look like around a gas tank to show where gas is overspilled. Um, Battlefront's Art of War had a really good article on how to do just that. Now, you just do that. Set it aside, let it dry, and we'll show you the finished product probably about my time 30 minutes your time it'll be a blink of an eye back in a sec all right here we go and as i promised right now this is how we go this has been pretty much all dry now i'm going to take it back out and put a coat of uh flat finish on top of it and that'll lock all that pigment in and even right now, it's kind of on there with nothing coming off, but just putting a good coat, a flat finish on top of it just locks in, so there's no doubt about it. All right, guys, I'll appreciate it. And that wraps up this episode. Happy painting.